in Ladies and gentlemen. John 8, specifically 8.32, then we're going to go before and after. See, I learned a little trick in English class. Mm -hmm. If you want to dive deeper on a sentence or verse, you read the prior sentences and the sentences that come after to get a full effect of the uh, context. Oh, okay. So if it said like um, John, for example, um, John had dismissed the Hebrews, then you could um, Google Hebrews dismissed. <laughs> um, so we're trying something a little new. As you know, me and Panda are Christians. And we're trying to find new things to talk about. So we're going to dive in these next couple weeks to specific verses and specific things from the Old and New Testament. Was I wrong? And try to get into it. So John 8.32. Chicka, chicka, yeah. Right here. So we're actually going to start from 31. The truth will set you free. And this is John uh, with the ESV version. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So that's 31 and 32. You know, that reminds me of, um, can I say something now? Yeah. So it's like, um, I feel, sometimes I just know when people are lying, and I know when they're telling the truth. Um that's all I wanted to say. Oh, okay. Well, that was that was interesting. It was pretty random, but it it wasn't because like I I can always tell. Sometimes I'm just like, God, am I ever wrong? Um, and I am, but not usually. Like I will tell when I know when people are lying. Like you know, you can sense it. I can just tell. Yeah, it's like like it says, you will. What did it just say? You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yeah. Are you saying you know when everybody's lying? Yeah. Like a sixth sense? I think so, yeah. You're not in the CIA. No, I'm not. We were looking up some information on the CIA, and we have uh, you're, you're, come to a hypothesis that the CIA you're veering, you're did veering. put drugs in the low-income communities you're veering. Uh, from Nicaragua. Sidetrack. Sidetrack. Get back All on. right. Uh, John 8. Uh, the woman caught in adultery. They went to each house... Uh, Sorry about that. They went each to his house, his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning. They came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes, the Pharisees, brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. Mm. And yes. placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman had been caught in the act of adultery. Mm. Now, in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such woman. Mm. So what do you say? This they said to test him, that they might have the first some rock. charge I to know bring this against one. him. I know this one. Jesus bent down and wrote this with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him Ooh. who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Ooh. Ooh, and you know what? We never knew what, we never, facts never knew what Jesus wrote, like, I think that we guess that he wrote something, um, you know, along the line of whatever. But I remember learning in Bible study that we it never really set in the Bible what he wrote in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the it didn't say it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't say it when I. Yeah. Read, well. Um, okay. And, I, I have a I have a brain bleed. So let's not and make once funny. more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with this woman standing before him. Mm -hmm. Jesus stood Go up and, and said no to her, woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? Jesus said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. Go and from now on, sin no more. God, isn't he awesome? That's so awesome. And only Jesus can talk like that. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, that's so, um, maybe humble's the word? <laughs> I don't know if it's humble. Uh, it's very... Powerful. It's very humble. It's it is. Humble, powerful, strong. Like go and go and sit. Like, he could have, he could have, like, 
ordered her to be decapitated or because in Moses's time, like the Old Testament, uh, there was laws I'd be dead. written down that you know you'd be stoned. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And Can you imagine she was being stoned? By the Pharisees and others, she was so caught doing she was adultery. caught doing it. So you got to say, who was it she was doing it with? Them. Well, I don't think you can't be doing that. That's blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be making up your own rules and regulations. No, I think blasphemy is like lying. Do you want to go with the "I'm the light of the world"? Do you want to read some? You want me to sing the song? Like uh, read it. Oh. You start out. Stop it's a song, 15. you know. You you want me to read it? Yeah, you want me okay. to start reading? All right. I should have wore glasses. Well, you got to move that. You can stop where it's getting right. highlighted. I am the light of the world. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, "I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life." So the Pharisees said to him. You are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I'm going. But you, do you know where I come from or where I am going? Ooh. Right? That's a burn. He's coming at him. How? Now, who's he talking to? The Pharisees. Okay. The same people that, well, I don't know if they're the same people, but the same type of people that were condemning judge the judge according to the flesh. Condemning the I woman. judge no one. Well, yet. I was going to read oh, some. Oh, okay, go ahead. You can. This is getting good. So Jesus the said. The Bible's not boring. Like, I wish I would have read it earlier in my life. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, the red is what Jesus said. Uh, you judge according to the fat flesh. I the judge no flesh. one. <laughs> The fat flesh. I'm Yet sorry. even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, it is written that the testimony of two people must be true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. <laughs> they said to him, where is your father? Jesus answered, you know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's calling out the Pharisees. The Pharisees. I liked what I read earlier today when we what were in the was car. It? I don't remember, but I mean, I I know what it was talking about. The family, remember? Where where did I get it from? <laughs> Ephesians. <laughs> Okay, stop. That's, I mean, every single day you bring up Ephesians like you're reading. That's the only thing you read. Is that Ephesians? Is that what I do? I don't know. That's all you say. Is all Ephesians? you talk about is Ephesians. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> it's like oh, one of your new like words to learn. Ephesians. Well, okay. All right. Maybe it is. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I forgot where I left off. Anyway. Uh, you know neither me nor my father. Um, these words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple, but no one had arrested him because his hour had not yet come. And I believe they were talking about after that, you know, his hour would come and they would arrest him and then, uh, then, they, then he would carry his cross with the cat of nine tails. So he said to them again, I am going away and you will seek me. And you will die in your sin. Where I'm going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, will he kill himself since he says, where I'm going, you cannot come? He said to them, you are from below, I'm from above. You are of this world, I'm not of this world. Mm. What poetry. <laughs> right, what poetry. Jesus has got that swagger. But then he also says after this, I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much judgment. But he who sent me is true. I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They said they did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the father so jesus said to them when you have lifted up the son of man then you will know that i am he and that i do nothing on my own authority 
but speak just as the Father taught me. Mm -hmm. So there's several times, I think it was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he refers to himself as the Son of Man. The Gospel. The Son of Man. And then in the Gospel. Well, he's... He didn't say, I'm the gospel. <laughs> the, the gospel. He's right. in the gospel. Right. I know. That's what I just said. So the truth will set you free. And isn't that the truth? And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. <laughs> For I always ooh, do the Oh, I like this part. You know what? 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 You know what they they had said in Bible study was like... Um, it was kind of like Jesus was how to, how to say um, a propose. It was like a, that was Jesus's ring um, to us was the Holy Spirit. Like that was to say he's coming. He's he will be back. He's giving you the Holy Spirit and he will be back. Yeah, that was the ring. I don't remember the ring part. Well, was that like it was like that's like a metaphor. Yeah, like a Sunday school teacher is blaspheming. <laughs> <laughs> blaspheming in Sunday school was like an older lady. Um, I don't know what's your blasphemy name. Uh, like, what is your blasphemy? Why Why do you keep talking this blasphemy? So we're back from the start. We're at verse 31 and 32, which we already read. In Ephesians. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> okay, I would like to talk about Ephesians. We're going to jump down to 34 and read a little bit longer. Yay. Um, yeah, we're not going to read much longer. But. You are the father, the devil. You're going too fast. Okay. You're going too fast. All right. So, verse 34, Jesus answered them. Truly, Have you read the whole Bible? Tr just the New Testament. Truly, truly, oh. I say to you, everyone who practices in sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. I mm. speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. Oh, so it's different fathers. It's like the heavenly father and the earthly father. Yeah. Well, I think there he's talking about the devil or maybe Abraham. Oh. Because it says you're offspring of Abraham. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. And you know what here. I don't get? Why in church they don't talk about the devil much? I think they do. I mean, now they're they're starting to, but before, shh, no. Like, I just recently learned, more or less, that the devil can come through things and people. Like, what do you mean? Like, so say we let somebody in our house, that could be, that could be the damn devil. <laughs> like uh like so the conjuring uh, <laughs> okay <clears throat> no but um his spirit like we could let in that devilish spirit into yeah. our home yeah bad people and i didn't know that before i yeah. didn't know that you gotta watch who you bring in right you gotta watch who who you're around yeah yeah. I could think of somebody. <laughs> uh, uh, just stop. <laughs> a hooting and a holler, and I could think about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so I believe he's still talking to the Pharisees here. You are of your father, the devil. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are doing the works of your father. They said to him, we are not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. Jesus said to them, even God, if God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and I'm here. I came not of my own accord, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot bear to hear the words that I'm saying. You Can are you hear the words come on. You are of your father the devil and you're and you will to will And this is him speaking because it's red. Desires. Yeah. Jesus had a smart he 
What were you going to say, a smart mouth? Yeah, no, I stopped myself. I don't want you to blaspheme again. <laughs> he was going in on them. Yeah, he was really Because all they do is judge. Judge, judge, judge. Judgers. Dagon judgers. I would like to know what he wrote in the sand. Well, Maybe we don't when know. I get up to heaven, I'll ask. We don't know yet. But I don't think you know at all. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't say I did know. <laughs> so don't act like you know. Don't act like you know. I don't think that. I bet they were complaining a lot, too. You like to complain a lot. Yeah, I'm a complainer. But what do you mean? Like they were judgy. They were being judgy. And I'm sure they were complaining on the way. Like, oh, this walk is kind of too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely. But, I mean, if I had Jesus with me, it would be cool. Yeah. But they didn't even know who they were walking with, I believe, is what happened. Yeah. Because it says, you are of your father, the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning. Beginning? <laughs> from the beginning? <laughs> from the beginning? does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character. For he is a liar and the father and of lies. <laughs> but because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? I, if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Whoever is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. Mm. And wow. back then, those were like the religious people, the Pharisees, the people that were I believe going off the Old Testament or the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. The Gospel? No, that's the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Yeah. The Gospel. But then the Gospel could also be Ephesians, Corinthians, Colossians, because Paul wrote those. What is that song that, that's like, um, um, you remember singing it in, in daycare? Um, just beat it. Dun, 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 dun. No, just beat it. No, just no, it. not at all. Just beat it. Not at all. Um, not at all. <clears throat> um, uh, Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Yeah, that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, cut that out in a minute. Cut that so out. we went through the beginning of chapter 8 in John, and we went through a little bit after. Maybe we should have started at the beginning of the, of, um... That was the... The Bible. <laughs> That's what we should have did, because I've never read it all the way through. You should have started at the beginning. That could have been our podcast. That would have been a lot to unpack. The beginning, Genesis through, I mean, it's a you lot You want to do this about, for a minute. It, um, at least we'd it have... It can get boring, a lot of the books. Well, we're not going to read that one verse chapter Numbers. that talks about everyone's names you know that one that yeah. talks about everyone's I names about i don't lineage. i don't want to do that we can just bypass that one everyone's names so we're back at 832 john 832 so we're starting where you feel is important so jesus said to the jews who had believed him if you abide in my word you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So full circle. Full circle. So re from reading the beginning to a little bit after that, what have you gotten? I've gotten that I think I'm a psychic. I, I, I mean, honestly, I believe that when I'm with people that are true, and they're Christian, or they're just spiritual, and they're telling, and they're, they're, they're just full of the truth, I, I feel like I know that they are different. They're set aside from somebody that has got um, something else that they want from me. Like, I can sense that. You're a psychic? I think, I think um, maybe. In the 1800s, they would have dumped you in boiling water. <laughs> they would have called you a witch. You cannot say you're a psychic. No, I definitely can't. I'm very sensitive to um to to know what you're feeling. I think they used to tie a rope around them and then put them in water and if they float, you remember that? No, I have float. no idea what you're talking about. Bobbing for apples? <laughs> no, not bobbing for apples. Um What are you what are you what are you just saying? We Did went you... through the chapter 8. 
Did you just say that back then they would drown the witches? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't say I was a witch. I well, you said, said you're psychic. Same thing. No, there's a big no. I don't. I don't claim that witch stuff. But that's a big thing too. Like people are now saying that they're witches. You know, that's people pretty scary. Doing that. That's pretty scary. And I don't mean just Halloween time. I'm gonna be a witch. And I don't mean, um, hey, I'm today. I'm a B. I T C H. Like witchy. Yeah, I'm being real witchy today. I don't mean that. I mean like they that's their character. Their character is a is a witch. So So we went through chapter eight thirty two. Sorry we didn't start from the beginning, y'all. Um We ain't got nothing but time, Tay. From what I went through with the CIA. <laughs> Looking that up. Um that was very interesting. All right, let's talk. Go ahead. What they're what the actually hell? <laughs> being uh, <laughs> accused of. And this is the CIA. This is the CIA. Okay. Do they have um, something on Netflix about this? I'm sure they do. They have it everywhere. So this is an article that came out uh, a long time ago, years ago. Uh, from San Jose Mercury News. And this is what they allege. Um, it is difficult to discern which allegations the Mercury News intended to make, in larger part because the series is replete with innuendo and implications that verge on making assertions that are fact never made. Many readers interpreted the series of the assert that CIA and other agencies of the United States government had intentionally funneled crack cocaine into black communities by either permitting or endorsing cocaine trafficking by Blandin and Menises. Others interpreted the Dark Alliance series to charge that spread of crack cocaine was unintended but proximate result of the actions taken by the United States government to promote contra war effort. While the series does not verge that there was a deliberate plan to target black communities by the CIA. Poor or, or black? Black is what it says. The CIA or other agencies of the United States government mentioned in an article. Um, DEA, Attorney's Office, Immigration and Neutralization Services, the article strongly applies such a plot. Well, it did a lot of acid, too. They gave their soldiers acid. Who? Um, the higher ups gave their soldiers acid so that they would keep fighting crazy. You can't be saying stuff. You're talking about Hitler. Oh, now we're gonna get this taken down because I just said the H bomb. Oh no, we're not. He, he gave them meth. So they fight longer. Mittler. And they fight longer. Uh huh. Not Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> so the contra cocaine trafficking. This is uh one part of it. It's Korean War, Vietnam War. You can look that up. Uh, in 1984, U.S. officials began receiving reports of contra cocaine trafficking. These officials told journalists that they considered these reports reliable. Former Panamanian Deputy Health Prime Minister Hugo Spadorfo, who had fought with the Contra Army, outlined charges of cocaine trafficking to a prominent Panamanian official. Spandafora was later found murdered. The charges linked the contra trafficking to Sebastian Gonzalez Mendola, who was charged with cocaine trafficking November 26, 1984. Nothing to do with this. Maybe you should watch what you say. You know, um, I, I find it real heroic how reporters go after the truth to no ends. Not always. I'm sorry? They don't always... No, I know that, or I wouldn't find it heroic, but the ones that do go after the truth to the end is real heroic. Man, they'd be lying. Huh. They'd be lying on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Try years. <laughs> they'd be lying. Yeah. I'm trying to find Vietnam and Korean War here for you fellas. Or women, whoever's watching. Oh, here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
All right. Who was it that you watched in your room? In the early 1970s, Alfred McCoy accused American officials of condoning and even cooperating with corrupt elements in Southeast Asia's illegal drug trade out of political and military considerations and stated that the CIA was knowingly involved in the production of heroin in the Golden mm. Triangle of Yermua, Thailand, and Laos. The United States Department of State responded to the initial accusations, stating that they were unable to find any evidence of substantial substantiate them, much less prove. But the CIA, I mean, they're not going to tell us if they're smuggling crack. They're cocaine. not going to do it. But that's why I went back to saying I really have a high respect for the people that go after the truth and they will report it and they don't care the back smack. Uh, this one is important because Gary Webb. So Gary Webb was that video I sent that's the other day. That's what you sent me, okay. He uh, was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. That's what they said. Oh, but so he killed him. Alleged. We don't know. You can't say that. Okay, sorry. Take um, that down. Rewind. But he came out with this: the Articles of the Dark Alliance. See, so he he put this up, and then and then he, he was okay. Shot so himself. maybe we don't do it. <laughs> he shot himself, apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, August nineteen ninety six. Gary Webb's three part series of the articles titled "Dark Alliance" was published by the San Jose Mercury News. We talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. Webb scenes raised allegations. No, he didn't look homicidal. That the U.S. government officials, including Central Intelligence Agency and Department of Justice employees, either ignored or protected drug dealers in Southern California who were associated with the Nicaraguan Contras. Investigation by the United States Department of Justice Office of the Inspector General, Central Intelligence Agency, and United States House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence rejected the main charges. So said it was false. And then he was at rest. He was gone. He huh. was gone. He's a goner. So you got Nicaragua here, Mexico, Korea. So what was his stories? Like, did they take down his stories after he killed we himself? Have a, I found a small video we can look at. Um, I mean, this dates back on 1949. This one up here says 1939 in France. Illegal labs producing heroin were discovered by Marcelli, France, nineteen thirty-seven. Well, you know, like honestly, today there's a lot of that still going on. Say, the horse gang gang was protected by the CIA. Mustache is gone, and I said I know him. I can't hear him. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, well, no don't need gotta to get be nasty. Judgy. Oh, it's right there, right there. And we're going to pause it. Why? Right here, because I want to read. Oh, God, you <laughs> love to read. No, I want to <laughs> show you this. So why exactly? So Gary Webb, the Pulitzer Prize winning reporter who broke the story of CIA's involvement in importance of cocaine into the U.S., died December 10th, 2004, reportedly from a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. It was a tragic end to a brilliant and tragic career. Mm. Mm. So was people saying bullshit? They were calling bullshit? You, you got to find out for yourself. So San Jose Mercury published 20,000 word three-part series entitled Dark Alliance. And that's when they were talking about the CIA and France and uh, Nicaragua and... All those places. Makes me want to maybe join the military and clean it up some. Well, they're probably involved in most of it. Oh, definitely. Papers. But that's and why I would clean it up. Six, I wrote a series of stories entitled Dark Alliance, uh, which was about CIA involvement in drug trafficking. Mmm. He shouldn't have said that. What my story showed was that the cocaine that was being sold in those neighborhoods uh, was coming from mainly one source, and this one source was being used to finance a guerrilla war in, in Central America.
the general idea of the CIA dealing drugs um, was something that the American mainstream press had never written about before. And that's why it prompted outrage among blacks, among drug reform activists, among uh, politicians, by the CIA, by every federal agency involved in the drug war, because it showed they weren't doing their jobs, they, that it was a fraud. Or they were adding to it. Fuel to the right fraud. after we published the stories, um, the, the support we got from the media was very favorable. Um, Newsweek magazine did a big piece on the story and said it was well documented and well researched. The website was getting like a million hits a day. Um, there were marches in Watts, there were marches in Compton, there were candlelight vigils. Uh, every California senator demanded an official investigation. Um, so the story itself is really building momentum. The government reaction was no reaction. And this, I, I believe, was a, a very careful strategy because nobody was going to believe the government if they came out and said we didn't do it. Um, the proof was fairly overwhelming since we had all these government documents showing that it didn't happen. So what happened was they let the so-called liberal press speak for them. And they had the national security reporters at the Washington Post, who coincidentally used to work for the CIA. Uh, write stories saying it doesn't mean anything. Wow. It was a, a distraction from what the story said, and it became sort of a media war uh, between the Mercury News, which stood behind the story at that point, and the rest of the establishment media who wanted us to back away from it. And part of that reason was because these major newspapers had written about this issue back in the 1980s, but had written about it very dismissively, as if this is nonsense, it doesn't happen, it never happened. And then 10 years later, we came back with documentation showing that it was absolutely true, and that it was worse than we had mm. this on purpose to make it very hard to knock down, to make it very difficult for people to say this didn't happen. But they said it didn't happen anyway. So, did he shoot himself in nope. the head? Nope, he didn't. Look at him smiling. Oh, pirates. Oh, that song's yes, they <laughs> That song is too much. So, you won't decide for yourselves. Oh, I definitely believe it. Because all this is alleged and accusations and everything like that. So. so we went from Bible study to dirty cops. Well, we had an extra like 20 minutes to, and they're not cops. CIA, Central Federal Intelligence. Federal agents. Central Intelligence agents. They're like spies, yes? I don't know what they do. I always forget to bring my mic. But this has been episode 70. And next week we'll dive into another Bible talk. And maybe something else. So, join us next week. Subscribe and like. Later, bye.